Let us start with this Van Gogh oil protest. So the oil paintings, and they've glued themselves to an oil painting because they're angry about oil coming out of the ground. So you can see this is the, the ties. It's in all the papers here. You can see the two protesters there. I think, it's the, is it the Courtauld or the it was, what mm. gallery? It's in? Yeah. Um, and I think we've got some pictures of it, actually, as well. Let's have a look. So these, these two, there we are. What do you think of this Shay? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there are many ways that protesters are using to raise awareness when it comes to climate change. One of the protesters that you can see is Lewis uh, McKechnie. He's 21. He said, as a kid, I used to love paintings, but I love my friends and family more. I love nature more. Whether or not this is actually going to prove the point uh, and get people to you know, start supporting... Uh, climate change, I don't know, but uh, I, I feel for their hands. I think their hands must be really glued on, stuck there. At least they didn't deface the painting. I guess that's one good. I'm, I'm feeling this. I don't know. This has triggered me slightly. It I, has. I, I, I feel exactly the same. I, I mean, feel like they've done that to, to someone road, I know. But this, these things are priceless. We'll never have them again. But then again, they didn't glue themselves to the canvas. No, but, that, but somebody yeah. else might do that. They see that we're very imitative creatures, and I think yeah. psychologically people might think, oh, that's a good idea. I yeah. think I'll stick my paw oh. right there. And that makes me really uncomfortable and the really weird thing is that he might have said he might have been referencing climate change but the other protester is referencing everything, everything she's talking yeah. about billionaires <laughs> and food banks and it's so muddled I don't think they know what they want they're just attention seeking unfortunately well I mean I suppose in the end if you glue yourself to the frame Dawn you can replace the frame quite easily well I mean, absolutely. Look, the, the one good thing about this is they're not endangering other people's lives, like mm. going onto the M25 and gluing themselves to the tarmac. So that's the good thing. But I mean, um, Lewis, Lewis is saying um, it's the, the, the actual painting is peach trees in, um, well, in Provence, basically. And he is saying, well, I'm doing this because Provence is running out of water. They're going to be facing a drought. Well, why can't he just go and do something useful in Provence rather than... Mm. Or, or actually, you know, go and train to be a, a sort of like, you know, something in ecology so we can actually save the planet rather than ruining works of art. What about... All right, let's, let's see if I can find the other side of this, <laughs> which is that <laughs> no <Love>. damn it, <laughs> no one was stopped from going to hospital, right? right? OK. The frame isn't worth anything, let's be realistic okay. here. They've not damaged anything important here. They mm. didn't glue themselves to the bed. And they have... They've made us think about oil. <laughs> no, they haven't. They've made no. me think how ridiculous they are. Because, as Dawn says, why aren't they kind of training in such a way that they could actually do something good ecologically yes, to change to say, yes. or, or understand about yeah. water. There's a fantastic initiative in Tanzania yeah. where on an island they, they're inviting people to go there and understand how to protect the coral, how to save species of fish. Actually, I want, I want people to be proactive. To do I don't want yeah. people to just make empty gestures mm. like this. And, and these paintings are very precious too. Well, they Thank are. goodness they didn't do it as some of these other Van Gogh paintings yeah. that are even more famous. Well, some of them don't have glass on. I mean, the joy of these galleries is they haven't yet got to the point where they say, Every painting has to have glass yeah. on. With but the Mona will. Lisa, well, they, I wonder if they are going to. They will. They, it, the Mona Lisa is an example where it got hit with a cake the other day. You saw this guy put. Now, you know, you can say thank God it's got glass on it, but it's a shame we're having to cover all these paintings now. I think it's it is a shame. You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But this is inevitable. I think we are now going to get to a point where you you only be able to go as close as you can. If you see what I mean, with barriers or, or glass no. around these paintings to actually help save them and look after what them. What a loss to culture! Well, There's something very magical about looking at the brushstroke yes. at Van Gogh or Turner yeah. or yeah. Rembrandt. I, there are certain Rembrandts in the National Gallery that actually make me cry because I can see yeah. the brushstrokes yeah. that he put yeah. there. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know whether they can put glass. I think glass damages them because you're pressing Long all that term, oil yeah. back, that's you know. Right. Yeah. Anyway, OK, that's a bit of a miserable mm -hmm. story. Lucy, in the sun, Mog has... <laughs>